everyone, uh, my name is LP, I'm a Portal 2 modder, and today I'll be playing through a bunch of chest chambers. And, um, yes, I will give feedback on level design and graphical design. Um, this one is called You Killed Him Non Euclidean Geometry. I'm generally not a big fan of non Euclidean geometry, basically because often it's just confusing players and that's about everything it does. But, I'll see. Um, also, this looks weird. This darkness, you might want to modify this. And there's a very annoying humming song, this so uh, sound. And I have no idea what causes it. Oh, Also, the light here is very bright. It looks like oversaturation with HDR. Um Also, the sharp transition color here uh, makes me think, yeah, over the entire chamber, that this is also a world portal thing. Um, oh dear, that's bad. That's bad, bad, bad. Somehow that cube has to come over here, I don't know how yet though. There's a surface here I could use, and I could use momentum from over there, so let's grab this cube, drop down here, no I can't use momentum from there, because it's too low, anyways. Save the game again. Wait, I can get the cube over there. I just have to kill this one. And then go over here. No, I should have done that earlier. Put the portal over there and then kill this cube. So everyone loves to kill companion cubes. Okay. And then it should fling out of there. Onto the faith blade, hopefully. Okay, yeah, I landed on that cube, that's cool. It's exactly what I wanted. So that's all. Uh, let's quick save this. Because I have a feeling that the uh, plate over there is going to brutally murder me or something. Oh no, we have four over here. What the potato? Whoa, holy banana, that made no sense. This is the start. Um, we need to get the cube over here. Interesting. In order to get the cube over there, we need to portal over there. In order to get a portal over there, we need to be over here. Interesting. Now we end up over here again. And we should carefully kill the cube. It, what, what confuses me in this case, um, you, the, the first time around, um, thing ends up somewhere completely different than it does this time. So even the non Euclidean space is very inconsistent. Uh, that's something I don't really like. Um, let me know, clip around. Um, Hold on. Wow, um, I see you have various parts here. 
Um, do you? No, it's one box. It's one box with, I suppose, both chambers in it. This is the exit. This is one room, and there's another one down here. I suppose then. Yes, there's another one down here. Um, you made this all in a big box, and let me show you what that. Oh no, that's important. No, but uh, yeah, this is what it does. Do you see all those blue lines? These are all bisleys. Uh, don't ig ignore the the wobbly part here. Um, focus on this part here. Um, because you build it in a big box, it has to also ca do all kinds of lighting calculations on the outside. You don't want to build maps in a big cubes because that's very bad for performance and for your compile time. Um, one of the steps uh, during a compile is um, Vivis. Um, that's the portal flow and it should not take longer than a minute. If it does take longer than a minute, you're doing something wrong. And generally, one of the worst things to do is um, to put your level in one big box. Uh, you should never do that. Um, I also see this here. Um, this is a problem with cube maps. Um, I don't know if you compiled them. I didn't notice them on the entrance. Uh, the entrance is up here. I do see them here too now. I don't know if they were there in the first place. If they were there in the first place, um, it's probably caused by you renaming the map before uploading it to the workshop. After you compile your map, you should never rename your map again because that will give these errors, and also with glass models, like the play plate. Um, yeah, the, the puzzle is fairly easy, um, and I'd say inconsistent with the use of world portals, so I don't really like it. Um, you did your best though, so I don't g gonna give it a thumbs up nor a thumbs down. Uh, but I hope this um, video was helpful, and um, yeah, well thanks for creating.